Are you feeling your class are not interactive and you are struggling to make a good PowerPoint which will cover all the parts of a good lesson or you are going for a demo, you need a format of template of a good PowerPoint. So here I am with the video. In this video, I'm going to share, I will, I will share the template of a good PowerPoint, how I deliver my lesson in my class. And at the end, if you will like the template, you can ask me in the comment box. If you like the template, you want to have the uh, PowerPoint, so you can mention an email ID and I will mail you the template. So without any delay, let's start today's video. So if you're new to the video, do consider subscribing and press a thumbs up for if you like the video so without any delay let's start today's video so if i will show you the first page first uh, slide i mentioned the lesson this is the classified chemical reaction i'm going to teach i mentioned the textbook number and test book i'm going to cover page number 133 140 and 141 okay now the next slide i always keep for the attendance can you see this timer here all the slides are having these timers so that you know i know how much time i need to spend on this uh, slide so i take the attendance i mentioned so that i will have the record next one are the class rules i mentioned whatever is required and the, this is the bonus card which i use for my class you know every day any child will participate i will just uh, like you know circle and sign here I mentioned the textbook page numbers and uh, like you know all the instructions then this is pre-assessment because before going to start i should know like you know what what, what are the level of the students and uh, you know how much i deep i need to go into the topic how much from the basic i need to start because sometimes they don't know and we know okay well, they have studied this topic in the last class but mostly like you know they forget about it so here i put the this one pre-assessment to check their level of understanding from the last classes so i ask here chemical reaction is happening what are the evidence what, what you see from understand from the picture so this is my pre-assessment so i get to know how much the students are aware about them now in the next slide here is i am having my starter okay so what, what the starter is i put an open-ended question in this question do you know that fire works on jabala jabala feet is a mountain here where i'm teaching in ue and bakur is an incense like you know which they burn in their houses uh, to make uh, this house smell good so barbecue and airbag so i just put the picture of this mountain where they celebrated the new year this is the incense burner for a good smell barbecue and the open and this one car airbag so i asked well, what is the similarity in all these uh, pictures so here i put the timer so that i keep a track like you know how much time i need to spend on this slide sometimes we just keep speaking and we lost the track like you know of the time so by this timer i always finish my class and on time so this is my starter okay once i did the starter so they feel curious okay something good the teacher is going to teach today after that came the learning objective these are the two learning objective one is the understanding and the other one is classify and compare i'm comparing the two different types so these are the two objective i'm going to cover in today so i will ask the student to read it that's why the timer is there i need to finish the student will read these uh, two objectives after that the vocabulary is there in this vocabulary you know i just don't give them simple what did i do i rearrange the alphabets okay so the alphabets are here so they need to rearrange and make the words so the first one is reactant second one is product third one is synthesis decomposition and combustion so i put here these are the skills i'm targeting so this is a game what is peer assessment once they are done i will ask them to share their sheet with each other like one will check the sheet of another student so they do the peer assessment they check for each other i will tell the answers on the board and they will give the marks to each other so this is a scramble word activity for the vocabulary so i uh, next is objective one reading activity i ask them to open the textbook page number this and they need to try read the paper read the two pages and they try to mix and match that's how i'm making them learn an independent learner and that is must required because if as a teacher i'm only uh, teaching 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 and they are not doing anything so they feel okay like they are not involved so once i make them involved it make a big impact like you know the student feel they are uh, like you know involved so they do this they will find out the answers from the textbook so here is the then 
these are the two things which they have read in the first activity i will summarize here so this is my task i will explain here so they understand whatever they understood they understood correctly or no so here i is explanation part come i will explain these two pictures then as i taught them already now is the time i put two mcq and i ask them to answer so that they know like you know they have to uh, think and uh, try to answer and we discuss these two questions so the first objective is clear, clear now okay so this is a pisa question pisa is a like you know national exam uh, which uh, the student has to appear after grade 12 or like you know uh, for the universities and to check the standard of uh, like you know nationally to check the standard like olympiad we do olympiad in india similarly these are the pisa questions here so this is a high order thinking i'll try to challenge once they finish this they need to try this and then we i will give them hint and then they try to answer so here my first objective is clear now they know how to represent a chemical reaction so i finish first objective so i ask them are you able to do this now are you able to represent a chemical reaction so now they say yes or no now i related the second objective with the real life these are the three in the second objective i am going to teach them these three reaction first i told them where we are using these three reaction in our real life so once they know this then i will teach them so the second one is i am going to play a video and i told them and i given them the worksheet this is the worksheet they need to fill up the filling the blank so i will play this video so they will watch the video and they will uh, they try to answer these questions so once i finish the video i will ask them to uh, one by one tell me the answers and they will do the peer assessment peer assessment means they will check for each other the answers so here is the objective number 2 now they get a little bit idea about the objective number 2 from the video now i will teach them so this is slide my part i explain to them nicely then come the group activity so i made the divided the class into four group group number 1 2 3 and 4 and i have given them some examples related to the real life like here i use the jabal ali powerpoint here i give the flash cards here i use the incense burner they are using in their home and here i have given the example of, so i give them 10 minute in that 10 minute they need to complete the activity i will go to each group and i will help them there give them a bit of hint and the weakest group i said with them and i try to finish the activity and each group need to come front and they need to present their work they will explain their activity and that's how i am able to finish the second objective also so these time line this time are very important as soon as you reach the slide the timer will start and this timer give me that idea okay like you know how much time is left and this timer give the student also a target that they need to finish during this time only and then here is the post assessment now i taught the lesson already so i want to know whatever i taught to them Uh, did they understand this or no did they get the clarity or no so i asked them this question and they need to write and then here at the end this i used in the starter activity so i asked them again now now did you understand what is the difference between them and at the end if i get some time i just ask them some random question from the last year uh, exams so these are the question they need to answer and that's how i finish my lesson so here in this lesson first i have pre assessment then i have starter activity then objective 1 and then objective 2 then i have group activities the differentiated activity and then i have plenary the post assessment at the end and that's how in between i put the pop up quiz the mcq questions also to keep a track that they learn or no and that's how i finish my lesson so any of you who want the template of this powerpoint please put your mail id in the comment box and i will mail you the template that's all for today's video if you like the video for any reason just press the like button and write down a feedback in the comment box i will be grateful this will help me this will motivate me to make more more videos that's all for today have a nice day bye bye